Well, now I'm in the Mashroom newsroom, and after weeks of economic and political upheaval, of course, Liz Truss has stood down as Prime Minister after just 45 days in office. While her tenure was short, it was impactful. That mini budget causing chaos in the markets. But with new Prime Minister Rishi Sunak now officially in charge, is there any good news at long last? Well, the short answer is yes, there is a little bit of good news. The Rishi effect, it would seem, has kicked in almost immediately. Just one day after the new PM was announced, some lenders have announced plans to drop their rates. Santander, for instance, which is saying it's going to cut business residential fixed rates by up to half a percent. Santander is also cutting all buy-to-let fixed rates by 0.05%. So some marginal good news there if you're thinking about investing. If you have a mortgage offer on the table, it is worth checking back with your broker to see if that deal can now be improved. Daniel Lee, who's principal at Total Landlord Mortgages, said it's not the current 2.25 Bank of England base rate that is now the problem, but the fact that banks are setting lending rates of up to 7%. But with the Rishi effect proving pretty instant and confidence in the market hopefully returning, it could hopefully lead to a lowering of interest rates again. The new Prime Minister has announced that a full autumn economic statement will be released on the 17th of November. So let's see what that has in store for us all. However, thanks to the leadership race in the uh, previous summer, we do have some insight into the new Prime Minister's broad ideas for housing. Well, under Boris Johnson's premiership, Rishi Sunak supported the Renters' Reform Bill and the Fairer Private Rented Sector White Paper, as well as backing the successive eviction bans during the COVID lockdowns. He's made it clear that he wants to make it easier for younger generations to be able to afford a home and plans to create new communities with an infrastructure first guarantee which is aiming to ensure that all new homes are supported by enough local doctors and schools and so forth. Finally, Rishi Sunak says he wants to tackle land banking and remove barriers for smaller builders enable, to enable delivering more homes through modern methods of construction. However, there is an element of less good news about the white paper. A fairer rented private sector, uh, which is aiming to reform the rental sector with an ombudsman and a decent home standard, there is still no definite date for when those reforms are likely to happen.